Welcome back guys. It's week four of us working on our schoolie build. So this week our goal is to put in the subfloor and some insulation. So we'll see how much we're able to get done. Yep, let's get started. some of the screws and I'm just kind of snaking our way across. Um, there's a couple in the back that I wasn't able to get with the screws because uh, I couldn't get the right angle with the uh, steering wheel right there. So I just opted for oh, some wood glue and I'm just gluing the corners, like the, the two in the back that I can't get with the, the screws. I'm not too worried about it though because I feel like that should be enough to keep them down because like we're not gonna have much pressure in the front. Two of the studs that we're putting in are just going underneath the driver's seat. So Jimmy's making sure that those bolts are lined up. I think I'm gonna drill that hole a little bit bigger first. We are. We spent all day on this. I'm super happy with what we've gotten so far. We were able to um, cut all these supports to length and then drill them into the metal so they're all secure. And then we cut our first board of insulation and filled in the gaps. Um, it went a lot smoother than I thought. And um, the only like janky part is this corner, but it worked out really well. We had a lot of angle cuts left over. And so we just filled in the gaps. So I'm really happy with that, but this is, Really nice, I'm, I'm so happy. This is the most progress we've made in one day. All right, so this is probably a good chance to explain what we're doing and why we're doing it in this order. So basically we've had the AC unit in the back since day one that we've really wanted to get out. And we can't have it removed until we have a certified technician come out and remove any of the remaining Freon in the lines. We've been calling different places and we've heard a lot of no's and a lot of people aren't responding. And so what we decided to do was we decided to start putting the cell floor in the front first so that we can put the chair back in so that we can drive it to a mechanic if we need to. Um, we originally took out the chair because the mechanic that we were in contact with said that he was able to drive out and just service the bus from our backyard, but that basically fell through. So I think we're gonna have to put the chair back in and drive to the next mechanic. So we put down a sheet of plastic over the subfloor and insulation that we have in the front just to act as a vapor barrier. So yeah, here's what it looks like. It's just stapled down. It's just some plastic sheeting that we got at the hardware store. Probably should I clean this stuff up first before we brought this in. <laughs> That's not our style. That's looking real good though. We just need to cut off the corner there and then of course cut out the spot for the engine access panel. I'm so excited. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we right. have a floor almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> So we just took the chair off of its base. My next step is gonna be to clean. But before I got too into it, 
Look how nasty that is under there. I think a lot of the mess that was on the base of the chair came from this part. So we're gonna try to cover that up with some plastic sheeting just so that the little foam pieces don't fall down again. We'll see how well this works. I am about ready to paint the base of the chair. So I started taping. This is just covering up the serial number in case we ever need it. So that won't be painted over. You are supposed to shake this, right, Jimmy? <laughs> yes. Okay. Technically, you're supposed to shake it for one minute. A that's, minute? That's what the directions say. Ugh. Good morning guys, um, we're back out here again, working on the bus bright and early. We made the final cuts on the piece of plywood we were working on, but when we went to go put it in and make sure that it fit, it fits, that's not an issue, but um, Jimmy was checking to make sure that there's enough clearance for the gas and brake pedals to go all the way down once the floor is in. And when he did, he noticed that the brake wasn't making the sound that it usually makes whenever you press it down. So we're a little concerned that the bus battery might have died. So we're gonna go check and see if it will start whenever we plug in the keys. I'm a little nervous about it, just kind of hoping that it'll start and won't have any problems. This is the moment of truth. I don't have a very good feeling about this, but we'll figure it out either way, even if it doesn't start. But I'm just gonna try to turn the key part way to see if the battery comes on. So if it does, it, we should hear it, but all right. Nope. That sucks. <laughs> we should just be able to charge the battery and then it'll be fine. We haven't started it in about two weeks, I think. So that's kind of on us because we really should probably start it once a week and just let it run a little to keep the batteries charged. But not a big deal. Just was hoping it was not going to do that. <laughs> so right now we have four holes that were used to mount the seat in. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just measuring the location of them so that we can drill those holes in the plywood that we have cut out so that when we install the seat back that we can actually put those large bolts all the way through to the bottom of the bus again. It's a little tedious, but I think in the long run it'll be better and a lot safer to actually use the same mounting holes as, um, as before. So we have the subfloor screwed in. We have a couple like custom pieces, we made like a little um, rectangle, well Jimmy made a little rectangle that's going to go over where the engine access panel is. We should be good to go on the front, there's just like an extra little piece where we still need plywood, but we'll probably get to that after lunch. Yeah, so with any luck we can get the chair back in by the end of today, but I know that now that I said that I probably jinxed it, so. <laughs> Maybe, we'll but see. I'm excited, we're making a lot of progress and this is just, it's a lot of fun to do this, so. All right, we'll pick you guys back up after lunch, but we've had a pretty productive morning, so we're happy about it. All right, <laughs> All right. see you guys then. So right now we're working on making a cover for the engine access panel so that that's still accessible even after we have the subfloor in. So I think Jimmy is screwing in the furring strips into the plywood for that subfloor. Yeah, so if you ever wondered where all of our scrap wood went, this is where it went. <laughs> this should be the last piece of plywood for the front section of the stone floor. So let's go see if it fits. <laughs> I feel like that is so close. Does it need one more cut? Yeah, like barely too. I feel like we're really, really close. Let's go give it one more cut. How many final cuts have we had on this piece of wood? Uh, like three. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too bad. 
All right, I call that a success. <laughs> That was the last of the subfloor. This part was definitely the hardest, but I don't know. It was nice to get it done, and we got it done in two days. We did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So we can definitely put in the chair, and now I definitely jinxed myself. So. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know, I feel good about it. I think we can do it. So now that we have the subfloor down in the front of the bus, we're working on getting the driver's seat put back in. But first, I don't know if you can see what's behind me, but we got a swivel mount for the chair. Now we have to figure out how to mount the swivel onto the bottom of it. We're realizing that we might actually have to drill a couple holes into the thing. Um, <laughs> but we're not looking forward to doing that because it's such hard metal. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but Jimmy has the hiccups. If you guys have heard of the method of getting rid of hiccups where you scare someone and they go away, but I found it to be really effective. And I have a ton of ideas about how to scare Jimmy, <laughs> but in the workshop, they're all very, very unsafe. So <laughs> he's just stuck hiccuping. The subfloor is complete and the chair is in. We decided to go ahead and save some money and just keep the original chair and clean it up a little bit. We also kept the original slides. So we have the mount and then the slides and then the swivel and the chair. We can show you what that looks like now. So I'm driving like normal and then we park for the night and then I want to talk to everyone behind me so I can push it back and then swivel it around. This is perfect. It hits the steering wheel a little bit, but I'm not too concerned. I think we can make it point this way, you know, far enough where it will be comfortable. And we'll probably have a kitchen countertop here anyway, so we wouldn't want to swivel too far. So I'm pretty happy with this. We do need to do one thing to finish it up. I don't know if you noticed, but it does lift off the ground and it's probably not safe to drive with. We're going to go under the bus and fasten it in. I think the battery is going to be okay. Jimmy's dad let us borrow um, a charger that he has for car batteries. The battery should be charging. Um, to test that, we just want to make sure that the brakes actually make the whirring noise that we're used to hearing. We could try to start it up, but I don't want to push it. I think it might need a couple hours to just sit and charge. Okay. It might not sound like it, but that's a good sound. <laughs> That means the battery's working. I think we'll just have to give it a little bit more time and then we should be good to try to start the bus later today. We just finished fastening the last of the bolts to the captain's chair and I think this is where we're gonna call it for this week. We hope you had fun watching us make progress and we hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.